G'day, how are you going? Welcome back to another trip in the Victorian high country. So myself and Juz have just completed an awesome couple of days up here. We've checked out four huts. We did an eight kilometer walk around Bryce's Gorge, checking out some spectacular waterfalls. And we also camped at two awesome campsites. So if you want to see all that and more, stick around. Good morning, how are ya? So last night myself and Juzza camped at Shane's Bridge just out of Lacola. And right now we've just fueled up in Lacola itself and we're actually heading up to Bryce's Gorge. So we're gonna do the 8K walk up there today. So from Lacola up to there, it's 67 kilometers up. You can camp at the trailhead there, but we didn't get into camp last night till about 9.30, quarter to 10, and we wanted to top up the fuel here as well anyway. So these signs here, there's one here and one over behind the camera there that tells you how far everything is. But yeah, we're about to hit the road, air down once we get near the dirt. Righto, so we're about 20 k's from the collar up the road. We've just gone up about 500 metres of dirt. We found a spot to pull over and we're dumping down to about 28 on this road here. So I'll just pop it in high four and we'll continue on up to the car park to Guy's Hut. Right, eh? so we've just pulled over at this lookout point. Um, the name escapes me, I forgot what it was. There used to be a sign here that would tell you each one of these mountain ranges off into the distance there, but haven't feel much coming up the road. It's basically just your dirt road and it's fairly corrugated, so nothing too exciting, but definitely stop here and check out these views. So we've just pulled up to Bryce's Gorge car park. So we're just getting ready now. It's probably um, a bit cool, so we might just take a jumper or a jacket with us as well. But we'll just take a backpack and our snacks and our water and things like that. And then we'll head up, but we'll throw some gators on and make our way out for the eight kilometer walk, which is a loop around. Right, eh? so we've just filled out the visitor's book. We've got the car there all locked up. We've got our bags and stuff on. And Juz is breaking in a brand new set of gators. How do they feel, mate? Beautiful. Nice and warm. So yeah, we're just um, leaving now. It's just after 11 o'clock and we'll uh, go check it out. Looking forward to this one.
What are you thinking of this, mate? It's yeah, it's Unreal, isn't it? Right, eh? so we're at 1.7 k's in from the start of the walk. Uh, Juz is tracking it on his watch there. So just up here, we've got Pineman Falls viewpoint, 150 meters. So we'll go check that one out. But uh, yeah, it's well signposted all around. You'll see on there, you've got the orange triangles for the trail markers. So um, any sort of point you see that. So basically, we've followed the open plains so far, followed the creek along, and now we climbed up a little bit. And here we are, about to head to the uh, next lookout. Absolutely awesome too up here. We are loving it. Right, oh, so here we are, Pyman Falls. So we're at the lookout point here. Clearly don't go past this barrier here because it does drop a long, long way down. But um, there's the falls down over my shoulder there. This camera definitely won't do it justice. And it just weaves zigzags down through the valley down there below us. And there's a few open clearings spots and a few rocky outcrops also on the side. So it has pretty much everything here that you would want to check out in the high country. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. If you look right over, you can see it goes to a pool down the bottom there. Just to to get in. No lifeguard on duty. Done real. Oh no, that's unreal. All right, so we're at conglomerate falls now we're pretty sure that the oh well not at the falls but the viewing area for the falls and it's uh, way off into the distance there and um yeah these falls are rushing too is a decent drop and then just cascades through what do you reckon mate beautiful around here Unreal. Perfect temperature today as well. And how's this? So we're the edge of the cliff's probably like three meters across to our right hand side there as well. So you're literally following the edge of the gorge all the way through. And also if you've done this walk, comment down below and let us know what you thought. And um I'll be interested to see what you thought of it and you know how it was when you guys did it. Right, Ace, I'm not sure whether you can hear me over the rush of the water there, but right here I'm standing right at the top of the falls here, so it just goes boom, drops straight off the side. So just before this battery um, dies, this hut here, this guy's hut was built in 1939. And during the bushfires, what I've seen here, they wrap it in foil and everything to protect it for when fires come through this area. So it just makes it more resilient and protects the hut for us all to see now. But yeah, there it is, guy's hut. What makes this hut a little bit more unique as well, it's got a stone floor inside it make it a bit more comfy the signs there so um yeah good little history sign there to check out on your way 
to or from the hut. Right, so we're back from the walk now. So it took us around two and a half hours and that was including filming stuff. And we kicked back and sat on the edge of one of the bluffs there and had a drink and a bit of fruit and stuff like that halfway around. But yeah, we're back now. We just had a ham and salad wrap for lunch. And we're gonna jump in the car shortly and just duck up to Howard Hut. Um, Jazz has never been up there, so I'll take you up there to check that out. And then after that, we'll just work out where we're gonna head to camp for the night. But yeah, that hike. If you just want to go for a an easy hike that's not you know too short or too long i definitely recommend doing that one right so we left bryce's gorge car park and we made our way up to howard hut here so just checking it out Right, our next point of interest on the tour is Dimmick's Lookout. So we, we just drove in off the Howitt Road, Dimmick's Lookout Road. Right, here we are on the next point of interest on our tour up and down the Howitt Road is Kelly's Hut. So we dropped in off Howitt Road and followed the track in, a few puddles and whatnot through there, and um, here we are, Kelly's Hut. A little camping spots here if you wanted to uh, set up for the night but yeah another cool hut to check out down Kelly's Lane Righto, so we got to the end of Kelly's Lane and we're just coming to check out the waterfalls just here. There's a few campsites nearby, so we're just going to go back over the little bridge here and um, get our spot for the night. Right, eh? so dinner is underway. We're gonna have burgers tonight, bacon, lettuce, tomato, cheese, egg, and of course, a nice Angus beef patty. Got the fire going, kicking back, no breeze. Perfect conditions for our camping.
morning. So it's not long past going eight o'clock Sunday morning. And I'm standing right now at the end of Kelly's Lane or the start of Kelly's Lane, depending which way you come in from. So we came in from the top side and we made our way down past towards the end here. But camp last night was about 150, 200 meters from the end of Kelly's Lane here. So last night was a beautiful night. We had a bit of wind going through the trees. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I will see you all next time. Cheers.